Beloved people of God, I believe that you are good in health. Thank God for this wonderful day, March 18th day. So far, God has guided us. Even now, He's going to guide us. We are standing in the edge of His coming, and we need to hear the trumpet sound in our ears. Let's pray with great desire. Let's pray for the revival. Okay, God will surely guide us every day with Holy Spirit named this small message. I believe it is a useful one for you. Are you sharing it to many people? If it is so, go to the comment section. Uh, people are commenting and I, I, uh, let me tell you the truth. I don't have time to see, but I will surely see it. Our staffs in the office will see it. You can just uh, send your comments to us. God's name will be glorified through that. This has been dubbed and uh, dubbed in Hindi and we're sending it to you and it is a uh, Great help to the northern states of India and God's kingdom has been built. Okay, what is the special word for this day? Let me read it for you, children of God. Acts chapter 6 and verses 3. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. Amen. Look how seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. What is the qualification? Do they need PhD or do they have any master degree? What is the qualification? It said, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. For what work to serve the table? In the early church, they had a small issue. Even today we have the same issue, right? When we have some programs, when we give them food, there may be a shortage, there may be a lack of food. But when the issues raise and the people of the Lord gather together and pray and they appoint seven people to serve the table. The first qualification for that is they must be filled with Holy Ghost and wisdom. The anointing gives the wisdom. Amen. Look today, the spirit of wisdom is upon you. When he's inside you, nobody can stand against you in the workplace. In your business, there may be a lot of competitions. Nobody can overcome you. For people like us, if you have the people who are struggling, the people who are standing against you, nobody can do anything. If you have the dead problem, is it breaking your heart? I tell you, you have the spirit of wisdom which will overtake you. Amen. Amen. In the times of famine, Joseph led a life of wisdom and it really overcome his issues. So I tell you, to lead a good life, you must have a spirit of wisdom. How many of you say, yes, I need it, I believe it. Just raise your hand and say, thank you, Lord. Amen. You may be asking and your household may not ask you. You pray for them. A loving heavenly father, Lord, without wisdom, in a hasty way, we have spoken a lot of comments and we have seen a lot of confusions, Lord. Let your children see your compassion. Just revive them. Fill them with confidence and boldness. Fill them with your wisdom. Teach them how to speak to others what to speak, what not to speak. Fill them with the spirit of wisdom, Lord. Thank you for guiding them. That's why you have given this word into my heart. I have spoken it, Lord. Thank you for guiding your children. Oh, hallelujah. Let your name be glorified. Let God's grace uphold them and guide them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You have asked now. Don't leave it as it is. Always fill yourself with the spirit of the Lord. Unknowingly, people will say, what a great wisdom they have. What a great wisdom talk they are doing. What boldly you have spoken. Brothers will say, sisters will say, your children will say, pastor itself will say. Okay, be glad in the Lord. Don't forget to share to others. Bless the Hindi hearing people. God's kingdom should be built. God bless you. See you again. Our address, Jesus Meets Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalayam Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836, 7299546363. Email ID, 
gps.robinson@hotmail.com gps.office@jesusmix.org website address www.gps.robinson.org